What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're hanging out in the garage again, going through some more tackle. You know, at the end of each year, beginning of each year, you know, before the season starts, I like to go through all my tackle and kind of was doing that. And uh, I found some things that need a little work. I wanted to show you guys a little hack I do with my frogs. So you can see this guy right here, his legs are a little rotten. They're just kind of old, worn out. See how they're breaking like that? Just nasty looking. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you a little hack on a frog to make it look a little better, look a little fancier, help you catch some more fish. So this is a hack that there is some really, really good frog fishermen that are doing this and they're not telling you about it. So it's kind of a little secret. It's on the down low here and I'm gonna drop some juice, drop some knowledge on you guys. And uh, if you're into frog fishing, I think you might learn something and, and uh, might catch some more fish using this hack. So appreciate you guys tuning in, clicking on this video, you know, uh, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you joining in. You know, the goal of this channel is to help you guys catch more fish. You know, we're, we're putting out three videos a week, all of them trying to help you guys catch some more fish. So hopefully you learned something from this video. You know, all of it ties back to this right here. It's my motto, just catch more bass. And that's what this channel is all about, is just helping you guys catch some more bass. So hopefully you learned something. And uh, check out all the other videos on the channel. You know, we got a tons of great information on the channel. So if you're new to the channel, go, go back and uh, check out all the other videos we posted. There's a bunch of great stuff on the channel. But anyway, let's jump in and I'm gonna show you how to make your frog look pretty. This is the guy that's bad right here. And this is what we're gonna do is make him look pretty with some flash. So this right here is one I just pulled out of the box that I've, uh, I've messed with in the past. And I can't tell you how much this will help you get some bites when they will not commit to your regular frog. You know, whether you're fishing around a shad spawn or just looking to add a little extra flash or a little extra something to your frog, adding this instead of the skirts or mixed in with the skirt legs is gonna do some wonders on you. All right, so the first step is going to be getting rid of all your old legs. So I just went ahead and pulled all those out. You see, these are like, they're old, they're dry rotted, they get kind of slimy, they break real easily. So that's how you know it's time to change out your frog legs. But on the other hand, you can still do this with a brand new frog. And this, this hack I'm about to show you, it really can be used on a brand new frog and it helps you catch some more fish. So what we're gonna do is add a little flash and make him look like this right here. So this is kind of a bluegill imitating frog. You know, it's got that green and orange red on him. So, you know, typically, I like to do this on more of my shad colors. You know, we got some blues, some silvers, stuff like that. But today, since we're going with the bluegill, we're gonna go with this color right here. This is, you know, it's kinda of probably hard to see on the camera, but it's almost a green and purple shine to it. And you almost always see that color in a bluegill. So we're gonna add that to my bluegill colored frog right here and uh, just make it look really pretty. So. The hardest part of this whole situation here is getting this line. So we got the old Seaguar Tactics braid right here threaded through the holes for your legs. You know, this can be a little tricky sometimes just getting the line to run the direction you want. But we got that through there pretty easy that time. So sometimes that can be a little tricky. Okay, next up we got our this is gonna be our new leg material. So the cool thing about this is it's very <clears throat> forgiving. So you can make them as long as you want. You know, you may waste a little material, but you can always trim them once they're in the frog. So um, I like to say maybe six inches to start. And that would give me, you know, about three inches on each side of the frog. So I cut this about six inches in length. And now we're just gonna take our braided line here 
and just kind of tie an overhand knot, a good old granny knot right over your new legs, your flash, just like that. And I like to go about a third of the way down or, you know, th the length of your new legs because you're gonna pull this through and it's gonna end up on this side. So you're gonna have two thirds on this side and a third on this side. So it, en it ends up looking just about right. You can always adjust it once it's in there, but just for sake of putting in some new legs, I always like to start at about a third. So, all right, once I get that tied on there, I just did two knots. You see, that's pretty tight. Now we're gonna pull our new legs through there. Here he goes. Slide them through just like that. All right, now we got that through. And we need to get our knot undone. So you wanna make sure you don't cut your new legs while you're doing this. But sometimes you can just pull it off the end, depending on how good of a knot you tied, just like that. And now we got some fancy legs in our frog that is going to help you get some more bites. Now you, it's going to take you a minute to, to get them straight. You want to fluff them up, make sure those are straight. But that right there, that's a cool little hack with your frog legs. Now to me, those would be a little bit long, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim them, I guess about an inch or so on each side, because I want them to be just a little bit shorter, just to kind of shorten up the profile on your frog. But now we took that old frog that had beat up legs and we added some new life to him. And this hack right here, I promise you, it may not look like much, but it adds so much character to that frog in the water. A little bit of sparkle, a little bit of flash, you would be surprised how much that will make a fish commit. So give that a try. You know, this is a cool thing to mess around with in the winter, you know, when you can't get out fishing or, you know, it's just too cold out. Obviously, it's not frog season right now, so it's time to kind of go through my box and get things dialed in for when it is season. You know, I know everything's dialed in and ready to go. So appreciate you guys watching this video. Leave me those likes and comments down below. Let's, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think of this little trick, and uh, hopefully it helps you guys catch some more fish. So until then, we'll see you guys next time.